What solutions does Hertel Ski Wax solve for spring snowboarding and skiing? Well, spring skiing, um, basically, we're dealing with uh, another one of the elements um, that's uh, underneath our board. And in the spring, you have a lot of pollens that are blown onto the snow. And um, the pollen just happens to be wax. But unfortunately, it's sticky. So we had to address that. And um, I did that. Um, I took the Racing 739 and I formulated a special product in there that takes the pollen and it makes it slick. And so now you have a wonderful spring product. We call it Spring Solution. So at Hertel, we deal with strictly the elements underneath the base of the ski or the snowboard. And that happens to be water and pollens in the spring. Uh, tell me about white gold and what makes that so special. White gold is probably one of the most significant advances in ski and snowboard waxes the world has ever had. Um, it is four seconds faster than anything else has been clocked at that. They've checked their clocks to make sure they're accurate. Um, in, um, the, in the late 80s, 90s, um, Burton uh, was driving up to our back door on a, like every other day, FedEx was, they would send FedEx to pick up white gold for the suplex races. We have all those pictures of the Burton riders who signed it. They were so happy because they won and they won and they won. Then uh, in 1994, um, the woman's coach for the United States ski team calls me from Norway, Lillehammer, um, and she said, do you see what's happening? And I said, yeah, you're not not moving on the snow, you're stuck, it's extremely cold. And uh, she goes, can you help us out? And so I made an agreement and we, the United States won the gold. That product, um, it, it is just uh, totally amazing how it's set up and how it works. And uh, once again, nobody's been able to compete with that. Other companies had actually come up with their fluoros trying to state that they've got something equal to or better. Uh, to date, nobody has been able to compete with white gold. So Terry, what about the colors in wax? What's that all about? Colors used to be um, an important um, way to tell the temperature of the wax that you needed for whatever the temperature was up on the mountain. That was always a problem though in trying to calculate that and I, I thought that that really hurt waxing and a lot of people didn't wax at all. When the introduction of super hot sauce came along, colors became obsolete. Um, anybody that's using a color nowadays, um, really, uh, it's mainly for a marketing uh, process, that's all. It's a marketing gimmick, is what it is. Okay, yeah, that's good. So uh, the overlays, overlays, I want to know about those. I hear uh, they do something special, maybe, maybe not. What about those overlays? Overlays are a substitution to me for a, a wax that doesn't work. Um, in reading about the different companies have overlays, all they're doing is taking um, what they call it, their fluorocarbon and they adjust it with different colored type overlays. So they got a different brick of wax for each one. When they get to the top of the mountain and they find out their product's not working, then they apply the proper overlay and uh, that gets them down the hill. Uh, it's no different than, than having colored waxes is what it is, you know. And uh, hot boxing. Some people have asked about hot boxing. I want to know what really is behind hot boxing. You know, the thickness of a base is only about four thousandths. Um, uh, I measured a base back here the other day. My question is, how far back can you get the wax to go back into the pores? With traditional waxes and all the colored waxes, their molecular structure is extremely uh, thick. Um, that, that way they need, because of that, they probably need a hot box. With the Hertel line, since we have the floral product and the surfactants, that automatically uh, makes the molecular structure smaller and it works its way back into the base as you're uh, waxing either hot or cold. Right. So Terry, in the industry, who even comes close to making a wax similar to yours, or is there even people out there who do that? You know, um, we really don't even have a competitor when it comes to the super hot sauce line. Um, there are other waxes out there, but they're all addressing colors. Uh, colors is a marketing scheme. 
Um, and uh, basically, when it comes down to performance, nobody. All right. So Terry, what does your product offer the consumer? Why should we go out and go online and buy it? What's so great about it? The, the Wax um, Hot Sauce Racing 739 and Spring Solution, uh, they all offer uh, one very significant thing, and that is more control of their equipment. Uh, more control of their equipment is going to give them um, the safety that's necessary and, um, and, and also fun, you know, and, and that's what the sport's all about is go out and have a good time. And um, if you can add in the factor of making the sport a lot safer for everybody, uh, you got a real winner. And I believe you have a winner with our product line. But um, the happiness that I see on people's faces when I can get the product on their equipment this one run and you stop and talk to them and they're just jumping up and down with joy so if I could get everybody in the industry to do that it would be just wonderful yeah all right Terry I want to just thank you for being with us here today I feel like we got a lot of good information me personally I'm ready to go out there and get some hotel ski wax so uh, thank you for having us today Great.